everyone welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Audrey and I film a lot of book videos as well as some knitting videos those are my two favorite hobbies that I love to do I am back with another video and yes I am wearing the exact same outfit I was wearing in the last video because well I'm filming this the exact same day it is later in the day it's in the afternoon my baby is down for her afternoon nap and I thought this was the perfect time to sit down and film another video to put up for next week. So with that all being said, go ahead and grab yourself something cozy or fun to drink. I am currently drinking a nice coffee because it's the afternoon. Oh, this is a good batch. This is good. And let's go ahead and just jump right in to this video and I am so excited to be doing this video. As you can probably tell by the title, this is my July TBR video. These are books that I want to read in the month of July. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I have seen other people do, you know, different variations of this. So what I'm going to do is I have a stack here, which you cannot see, but you can tell that it's a tall stack of a lot of books. So these are all the books that I have recently purchased in the last few hauls on this channel. You have seen that I've picked up a number of books. Um, so all of them are recent except for one. And these are ones that I would love to read. However, I cannot read all of these. So I have 18 in this stack and I'm going to pick 10. Now, will I read 10? No, but I'm going to pick 10 to give me an option because I do very much read by my mood. So I'm going to give myself an option of 10 books. So what I'm going to do so I'm going to number these one through 18 and then I'm gonna have Siri pick a random number and she is going to pick my July TBR. So I was wondering whether I wanted to have Siri pick it or have my husband pick it. And eventually I would like to have my husband pick my monthly TBR, but for this month I am gonna have Siri pick it. So I'm gonna just very briefly show you the 18 books that I have here. And then hopefully she will pick 10 good ones because I have a lot that I want to read. So let me just quickly just go through the books that I have here in this stack. So I have The Heist by Daniel Silva. I have My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. I have The Fifth Season by Kate Jemison. Then I have Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson. I have The Bookshop of Second Chances by Jackie Fraser. A lot of these are the ones I picked up um, in the very last video. I have The Stationery Shop. I have Crossings by Alex Land Landergan. I have To Have and To Hoax by Martha Waters. I have Days at the Morisaki Bookshop by Satoshi Yagasawa. Then this is one that I've had for a long time and I've only recently been wanting to read it and that is The Priory of the Orange Tree. I It's a thick book. It's a big one, um, but I'm kind of hoping she does pick this one because I really do want to read that one. Then I have The Chicken Sisters. This is by KJ Del Antonia. I have had this on my nightstand for months. Well, okay, I like two months probably, and I just have yet to pick it up, but I really want to. Um, then I have Pax, and this is by Sarah Pennypacker. This is a middle grade, and I think a sad book. I want to have read it but I don't really want to read it if that makes sense because I think it's going to be sad. Then I have The Lake House by Kate Morton. This is I think a thriller or something like that. Then I have The First Mistake by Sandy Jones also a thriller. Then I have another middle grade. This is The Girl Who Drank the Moon by Kelly Barnhill. Then I have another middle grade. This is Wildwood um, by Colin Malloy. Um, another book that I really want to read. And then the final one is The Only One Left by Riley Sager. Um, coincidentally, the last one left. That's really funny. Yeah, so these are the ones that I really want to read. I have a whole bunch. Um, I have a few that I have borrowed from the library that are due very, very soon. That I'm not sure I will be able to get to before I need to return them. Um, but Anyways, I'm going to number these 1 through 18, and then we shall see which ones Siri picks. So, I have my pen, I have my, uh, my sticky notes, and I'm just going to just start randomly labeling them like so. So, I will do this very quickly and check back in when I am done. Okay, it looks like I only have 17. I miscounted. So, let me take a sip of iced coffee. 
all right i have all 18 books labeled here beside me i'm actually filming this video on my phone so i'm gonna pull up my computer so i have it here with me um i don't know where my ipad is i think it's in my craft room okay i'm actually going to use my watch because that just seems to be a lot easier hey siri pick a number between 1 and 17 11 so let's find that is crossings by alex landrigan and i talked about this briefly in my very final or my very last video but at the very end of this video i'll do a brief synopsis of all of these so let's go ahead and pick the 10 i'm gonna pick 10. hey siri pick a number between 1 and 17. that would be two two i think it's gonna be over in this stack that is ooh is Wildwood. Okay, this is fun. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 2. She did 2 again. Okay. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 7. 7. That is The Chicken Sisters. I don't know if I really want to read that one. Okay. <laughs> Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 11. I'm sure I did 11. Okay, try again. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. That will be 14. 14. <gasps> Pineapple Shree! I'm so excited. I really want to read this one. Okay. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. The answer is 10. 10. That is to have and to hoax. Okay. This is really fun. I'm having a lot of fun with this. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 17. 17. That was the final one. So that is the heist. There is literally no way I can read all of these this month. I have already read two books this month, which is great, but um, yeah. But this is good. It will give me a good uh, range of books. Okay, back to it. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. That would be 10. I sure I did 10. Sure I did 10. Okay, let's try again. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 5. 5. That is going to be The Lake House by Kate Morton. I have a few that I like really want her to pick. <laughs> hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 15. That is the fifth season. All right, two more. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 8. Priory. Okay, last one. These are all kind of big books. Hey Siri, pick a number between 1 and 17. It's 16. 16. Okay, final book, My Cousin Rachel. Okay, that was so much fun. So I will show you the 10 books that Siri picked out for me which are these right here. Okay, coffee time, and then let's go through them. So if you watched my hauls, my book hauls, over the past couple of months, then you would have already seen these books, but I'm just gonna briefly go through them in case you haven't watched them. So the very first one, I can take the sticky tabs off since I know what books to read, is My Cousin Rachel by Daphne du Maurier. Um, I don't know a lot about this one. This is a gothic literature. She also wrote um, the book Rebecca, which is one of my favorite books ever. I think it's such a great book. Yeah, I don't know much about this one, but I think it's going to be really good. So I am excited to read that one. Then the other one that I have had on my bookshelf for the longest time is The Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I have not been in the mood to read this one for a long time. I bought this, I think the year it came out, which was what, two years ago or more? I don't know, let me see what, um, what year it came out. So this came out in 2019. I think I bought it two years ago. 
and I have yet to read it. But I am excited, and I was watching someone very recently reading it, and they loved it. Everyone's saying the first maybe 200 pages are really slow, so knowing that as I go in, I think that will be um, helpful. But yeah, that's all I know. I do know it is an epic fantasy. I think it follows three different women. Um, there are some dragons in there, so yeah i have heard nothing but wonderful things about this but i know that is it's a big book all right then the other one is the fifth season by nk jemison this is a fantasy or is it i believe it's a fantasy but that's all that i know i believe it is young adult so this shouldn't take me all that long to read it then we have the lake house by kate morton i am assuming that this is a thriller it's saying a mystery so oh it says suspenseful okay so i guess this is a thriller i have read the clockmaker's daughter which i have mentioned before also by this author and i did enjoy that book so i am curious if i will enjoy this one as well but i guess we'll find out then we have the heist by daniel silva um this is obviously a um i guess a mystery or something like that um it's about a spy um, it says a, a fallen spy, a missing masterpiece, a daring mission. So, um, I am curious if this will be good. Like I've mentioned, I've not read anything from him. So if you have, let me know. Then we have this one called to have into hoax by Martha Waters. This is a romance, a Regency era romance. Um, I believe it's about a married couple who very quickly fell out of love and now they kind of have to, I guess, work together and I think they eventually fall back in love, which I love that. I think that's really sweet. So hopefully, I know I mentioned this one in my previous video, which I did film today, but um, I only like to read closed door romances, so anything that um, has no spice at all. So I don't know if this will have any spice, hopefully not. Um, but I guess I will let you know. Then we have Pineapple Street by Jenny Jackson. I don't know much about this one. All the blurbs say you cannot put this book down. Once you start, you will not be able to stop. It's, I believe, about kind of this wealthy family. So kind of uh, someone I thought had likened it to like the Real Housewives sort of thing. So just like rich people drama. So I'm down for that. I think that sounds really good. Then we have this one called The Chicken Sisters by KJ Del Antonio or Antonia. Um, about two sisters, obviously, and I believe they kind of have two separate chicken restaurants and they kind of feud. Um, there could be a romance involved, I'm not sure, but it is just kind of about two sisters and I think that's really sweet. I like books about sisters. Then we have this middle grade, which I am really excited to read this one. This one is called Wildwood by Colin Malloy. Um, it is about um, two siblings, young siblings, who one gets taken away into this, you know, fantasy world, this other world, and I think the sister has to go find her brother. Um, so it's a whole other world about creatures and everything like that. So I think it's gonna be really sweet, really cute. It's got really cute drawings in it. Uh, let's see if I can find one. I don't know if this exactly counts, but just really cute illustrations throughout it. Um, it is middle grade, so it will not take long. Um, it is 500 pages, but 500 pages of middle grade, so it shouldn't take too long. And then the final book, which I am really interestingly excited about this one, it's called Crossings by Alex Landrigan. Um, this one, I have mentioned it before. Um, I believe it is a kind of puzzled a puzzle of a book so you can read it beginning to end and then there's a way to read it um, kind of jumbled up like there's a certain I guess chapter there are certain chapters that you read um, that uh, kind of change up the story or kind of give different clues so I think it's gonna be really cute I think it's it says romance mystery um, intrigue I'm not a I'm not exactly sure um, but they call it a literary puzzle and I am all for that Okay, so those are the books that Siri has picked out for me to read in the month of July. We shall see which ones I do end up getting to. Um, obviously, there were some in here that I really wanted to read. I really wanted to read the Riley Steger one, Stationery Shop, and um, this one. But maybe next month. Maybe we'll do it again um, in August. Or maybe I'll have my husband do it. I think that would be a really fun one to have him pick the books that I read. 
So I think that is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, that does mean a whole lot to me and just shows that there are people watching my videos. I really do enjoy making these. I love reading. I have been a avid reader since I could first learn how to read. As you can tell, my taste varies quite a bit from the other booktubers here on YouTube, but uh, that's okay. If that is the type of book that you like to read, um, let me know. So go ahead and keep following along with me. That is going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you soon. Bye.